Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for May. Uh, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're think, thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading. Uh, click on that, it'll bring you to the start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camp. As I always say, please just take what resonates um, and leave what doesn't. This must be a nice reading. <laughs> oh, I'm smiling. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if this is in your story, but don't pick up on your story. Stick around as sometimes, you know, there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, uh, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. Okay, give me a moment to just... Finish laying these cards. Gonna take these in. Gonna hop back. All right, so Gemini, let's start the reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And as you can see, there is extra cards. I just needed to clarify uh, these cards. Um, and of course, if this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other monthly uh, readings for this month, Gemini. Okay, so let's start your reading. So just going, looking from the past. So I like to kind of just touch on the past, see where you guys are coming from. So it seems like there is this kind of maybe protecting or defending. We've got the Seven of Wands representing the state of the connection in the past so it seems like there was some form of maybe defending or wanted to protect this relationship could be coming from your end gemini where you wanted to just save this relationship in some way or defend it from others or defend it from just maybe the drama that was going on around this connection protect it from that um, because there is still this pull with the page there this is in your thinking towards this person I feel like maybe for some of you guys have maybe already buffs, maybe some kids, maybe share family together, but the Empress, the Empress talks about buffing something, the creation of something. So that could be you already have a family together, or that could be something that you're very much wanting to have with this person. It could be a family, it could be just the buffing of a relationship or maybe a project or, you know, that type of thing. There is this... Um, Yeah, it's just, just kind of, you know, there is, it seems like this connection has gone through some challenges because we've got the nine of, of wands there, which speaks about holding on to something that has been challenging. And then, of course, the seven of pentacles, which talks about putting work into something, but something not materializing um, to its full potential. It's not, uh, you've not reaped the rewards of all the hard work that's been put in, it's that type of thing. Where with your person, where with your person? How do I put that? So we've got the devil card showing up in their thinking. This person's formed some form of... Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, there's something that's already been built. Maybe... Yeah, I mean, the queen of wands... Sorry, the queen of pentacles can represent... That on purpose, can represent having already built a family um, or even just in terms of the relationship itself. But there is some form of attachment that this person has formed with you with that and i feel like it's to do with and when we're talking about okay so let me explain that a bit better uh we've got the queen of pentacles which talks about having already built something something that they're also processing but there's this wake up call around that so like this person is realizing that they have some form of attachment to you i feel like it's tied to the fact that they've already be, built something with you or there's been a lot of experience or there's You've been together for a while where there's something that's already been established. Saying that, though, there is this... I feel like this person is definitely taking... 
a, a few might be an understatement, some knots when it comes to this relationship. Um, the experience, the journey that you guys have already had together, there is this feeling that they have of there being some form of loss. Yes, there is two cards that still remain in, but there is this focus on this loss in some way. And it's around, uh, we've got the, three, the Ace of Cups, around, I want to use the word lack of love, but something around maybe, you know, when you've been with someone for a while and you maybe start to question, it starts to kind of chip away at the relationship, chip away at your emotions. So there's a depletion of that in some way, shape or form, but they're hiding it from you. It's not something that they've expressed. It's not something that they're, they're forthcoming with, but they're wanting things to turn around with the will of fortune and wanting things to go back to how it was or just evolve from where they are uh, in terms of their emotional space. With that, again, that's in the past. Just bringing it to where you're both at at the moment. We got the ace. So it, this talks about, you know, there's definitely an opportunity here for you guys to create something new. Regardless of what's happened in the past, there's definitely this opportunity. The ace of wands talks about, you know, an opportunity to create something new. We've got the canvas there. So you get, get a clean slate, you know, decided to start again. And now we can, you know, paint whatever we whatever it is that we want on this canvas and that can be anything that we want so there's that there's that opportunity there for both of you to just kind of bring this into something different you're putting in the effort it seems like you're really wanting to make up for something you know you're making up for something this person is definitely moving forward their focus is on leaving the past leaving what you guys have gone through in the past and just focusing on moving forward really uh, yeah not wanting to look behind and uh, they, they're showing up like that let's say that because there is some other stuff that's going on behind the scenes for them but yeah you're putting in the effort you're wanting to put in the effort you're wanting to make things right you're wanting to you know do what you can in order for you to maybe fix this or bring this back on track or just feed this relationship but at the same time you are acknowledging with that tower card there that you know things have come crashing down there's been some should I use the word damage? Uh, should I use the word? There's been some disruption in this relationship, in this connection. You know, that's very much on your mind, in your awareness. And you're wanting to just kind of embark on a new journey. Things are weighing heavy on you with that, with that 10 of wands there. So we've got the full card there, which talks about you know, embarking on a new journey, you know, uh, moving off into uh, having a new adventure. Uh, there is a burden there, of course, because you're still thinking about just what has happened. But we've got the six of wands, which talks about you, uh, victory, success. You wanting to be victorious when it comes to this relationship, bringing it out of the mud of where it is or where it has been. Yeah, well, your person, like I said, their focus is very much on and how they're showing up is moving forward. They are thinking about wanting to fix this or just putting balance back into this, putting harmony back into this. That is their focus. They are, you know, hence why they're just wanting to leave the past in the past. There is this thinking, what's well, on their thoughts is something around communication, them communicating communicating in order for them to give to this yeah in order for them to give to this take action in order for them to communicate in order for them to give to this because this lack of giving and you might be thinking you know what does that mean give to this this lack of giving is around what they're not saying to you it's that seven of swords there what they're not saying because that what's in their challenge position is this holding back the four of pentacles they're holding back they're not wanting to, uh, we've got it twice as well. They're not wanting to acknowledge, but that's not really acknowledge certain things or bring up certain things. They're not wanting to maybe go over certain face. There you go. They're not wanting to face certain things. There's certain things they're not wanting to face. So they're holding things back or holding things in that non, yeah. And we've got the Queen of Wands, sorry, the Queen of Cups here. So that could be, that could represent you. 
not holding back, not wanting to face things. Yeah, because maybe consideration of you. You know, the Queen of Queen of Cups talks about yeah, you know, it's very giving, understanding, patient, loving, um, empathetic type of uh, queen card. And just simply based on how you're showing up, making the effort to give to this, fix it, mend it, or just kind of, you know, uh, with the temperance card there, maybe that's that's how they're seeing you. But that's their challenge. Their challenge is, is they're holding things in and holding things back. There's things that they're not saying, things that they've not said. Your challenge is there's confusion. There's confusion around this. So maybe you are picking up on... Maybe you're not picking up on exactly the fact, you know, the reason why you're feeling confused is the fact that they're holding things back. They're not saying anything, but there's... So there's a definitely for some of you that it is the case, but there's a definite challenge around there's confusion there. Confusion around whether this person still cares about you as much as they said that they do or that they used to. Whether you have that emotional connection with them, a strong emotional connection like you used to with the two of cups there. Uh, whether there's still a lot of passion and desire coming from them. Is that something that you can get back even? And we've got the Three of Pentacles as well, which talks about collaboration, coming together, teamwork, relationship, ultimately. So there's confusion around that for you. Is that something maybe you can get back? Or maybe that's something you're questioning whether they still have those types of feelings for you. Just based on how they're, maybe you're picking up on their energy, their vibe. You, of course, want to, yeah, you, of course, still drawn to this person, going back to the page. Here, very much drawn towards this person. There's a pull, um, and you're wanting a, you know, an opportunity to create, continue to build on what you've already got, what you've already started to establish. That's what you're wanting. For them, for them, we do have that reckless, fast moving uh, Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is very fast, very fast moving. Out of all the knights, this is the fastest. Uh, but so that you can also very, be very reckless because it's a youngish type of thinking it's youngish in, in thoughts and thinking let's say that so there's there is that hangman on top of that so they're maybe holding their self back holding their self back yeah there we go holding their self back needing to uh, we got the king of swords here which talks about so the king and, and the and the knight of swords are two very different uh sets of cards and we're talking about the king which talk with which talks about evolving and evolution when it comes to your way of thinking uh, very intelligent smart strategic where the night is very reckless uh, you feel impulse works on impulse that type of thing so you're you're wanting to put a halt to that you're wanting to you know, with the hangman stop that and go into that thinking that king of swords type of thinking where you're putting a plan into place thinking about how you're going to move wanting higher wisdom with the high priestess wanting higher knowledge around this uh, but still wanting to take a risk. Oh, this is interesting. Because they're, they're wanting to take a risk. It's like, should I take a risk? I want to take a risk and just leave this behind. Going back to this, the Eight of, of Cups. Leave the spilt cups. Leave what has happened. Leave what has gone down. Leave that in the past. Uh, they, something around their intuition telling them to do that. But they're finding uh, this frustration, this conflict. They've got internal conflict around that. We're going back to this, holding things in. It's like what they're holding in or what they are allowing, effectively, to interfere with the progress of this relationship. Yes, it could be something that they're battling with, meaning they're unable to easily let that go. But it's something that they know they should. Or they, they want to take a risk on, but they're finding... It, there, there's, there's conflict, internal conflict when it comes to that. It's like, you know, let's leave this behind. I shouldn't leave this behind, really. Let's just, you know, we're in a better place. Let's leave this behind. But every now and again, I think about that. Every now and again, that doesn't sit right. It's that type of thing. So, like I said, guys, I will be implementing part two of the readings um, in the next two weeks for the cut for that. That way we just move into where this relationship moves to next. Um, but as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. Um, I will be implementing the singles readings as well, guys. So just look out for that. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.